Greetings, Flat Earthers and Globelings. We have another special for you today. That lovely Viking beer. Oh, what a smooth, crisp tasting lager. Let's go. Ah. Okay, so the theme today is going to be a couple of mechanical flaws in the globe model. So we're going to talk about daylight hours and the position of the sun in the sky throughout the seasons. Okay, first of all, every day would be 12 hours if you were on a spinning ball. No question about it. Because the way they have it, you know, it spins 24 hours around, half the ball is lit at all times. Well, how are you gonna get out of that? You can't. The tilt is not gonna fix that ever. So they have a big problem right there. So 12 hour days every day, plus the position of the sun in the sky is always gonna be the same always doesn't matter okay there might be some slight variation but that won't affect you know four hours difference in day length okay this is how it goes you have in the winter in the northern hemisphere the sun is lower in the sky it sets earlier and it rises later in the summer the sun is higher in the sky it sets later, rises earlier. Why? It's very simple in the globe model. The sun's going above, it's circling around. Okay, then when it gets all the way, you know, full summer in the north, it reaches the northern tropic. Okay, and that's why you see it at noon. It's like so high in the sky. Okay, versus in the winter, at noon it's really low because at that point it's already spiraled over to the southern tropic okay and so that changes everything and so that accounts perfectly 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 for what we see in the sky or observations observations of facts and you can't debunk that okay the globe model is just trying to reverse engineer what we see so that's why they have to make the tilt and back in the day, like 1899 at least, when Winship's book was written, the one I rewrote and turned it into a hardcover, well, <laughs> yeah, it was summer when the ball was closest to the, to the sun, okay, so, or there was at least controversy going on, but the main, the mainstream, that's what they said. And now it's totally switched. It's summer when the ball is furthest from the sun. How stupid is that? Okay, it totally doesn't work. And then we also have the analemma, which is that figure eight pattern. And it's really small. Like if you, at the same time, same place, you know, every day or every week or once a month, you take a picture of the sun in the sky, at the end of the year, you're gonna get a figure eight. And that's called the analemma. It's the position of the sun in the sky. and that tells you everything. I mean, that just proves the flat perfectly. So the bottom loop of that figure eight is huge because of course the circuit of the sun is going around the Southern Tropic, which is huge. And then the smaller loop because it's going around a smaller circuit in the Northern Tropic. That makes perfect sense. Okay, more things about the analemma where it crosses over, that lasts for at least three days. Okay, so it's circling around the equator at least three days, and that's why the equinox only, la it, it's variable, it lasts three days. It's different in different locations. It's not this momentary thing. And when you go to look that up, like I shut down this one guy, he used to always go around challenging people with the equinox. Oh yeah, explain that. Sure, I go show him a link, and the link says, uh, imagine this. Imagine that. Oh, it might be counterintuitive, 
but everybody's going to get 12 hours of daylight. So right there, they told you the truth because it's always going to be 12 hours of daylight. And then they go, imagine this, imagine that, to the point, you got to imagine a dome. <laughs> he never, ever challenged anybody else with equinoxes again after me, after I told him that. What an idiot to even think to do that. Okay, so that's that. Um, what else can we tell? Yeah, so at the Oxford Observatory, I think it's called. I have it at Flat Earth Classroom blogspot.com and you can see when they do like an everyday snapshot for the analemma and it really flattens out and that's got to be around where the longest day and the shortest day well <laughs> guess what the longest day isn't one day it isn't one moment it's it's practically two weeks it's gonna be the longest day and you can measure that with shadows put a stick in the ground you can measure the shadow length and you'll see it will hardly change at all, if at all, for at least a couple weeks around there. So think about that. That totally destroys the globe model again. So it's a flawed model. They do not have a working model, not even close, okay, not even remotely close. Their model is, it's broken and you can't spin a broken ball. So all kinds of problems. Um, did I cover everything I wanted to cover? Yeah, I think I did. So in the summer, the sun is high in the north. In the winter, the sun is low. The day lengths are different as well. And that can only be accounted for by the sun circling above us. And we have the midnight sun that proves the sun is circling above us. So, you know, and they also have other problems with their tilt because when it's tilted away from the sun and it's always going, uh, counterclockwise well what's gonna happen you're gonna be coming out from darkness into light angling up <laughs> so if they say that the tilt is gonna count for the position of the Sun in the sky they're screwed right there they just shot themselves in the foot because by noontime when the tilt is away from the Sun it's gonna be setting <laughs> you're gonna be it's gonna be setting the Sun will be just like it should be that you know for the setting sun it'll be like going lower and lower and lower in the sky okay because the earth is going up and up and up and up because the tilt is away from the sun <laughs> so they're done they can't say the tilt is accounting for the position of the sun in the sky so this is how stupid their model is they just make it seem like it works they trick you with their flowery stupid words lines on papers they don't even know what perspective is they're retarded and they have no model Cheers, that's the end of the globe. Have a good one.